Hello Felicitas, Felix here and welcome to a new episode of Southampton's Towards the Top and I'm finally done with a new season and this one has probably it has been the most epic season of them all like we are progressing so fast Southampton is getting so fast towards the top and I want to show you this first we have the League Cup when I left you guys it was at the 1st of January I think so <laughs> I hope so and from there on, we went on to the FA Cup, we went out in the 4th round. Oh. First, we won against Chesterfield 4-0 in the 3rd round, and that's... Chesterfield, we should be winning against them anyway. Then, in the League Cup, we were reached the semi-final at this point, and we had to play against Bolton. And Bolton is not that hard of a team. They, uh, this year they weren't, because they relegated, but you're gonna see that later. First round, 1-0 at our home field. Then we went on to their home field. And then we won 3-2. That was actually a quite nice game. It was close and Bolton... Oh, we, we were leading 2-0 and then they come back and then we won in the last second. So that was good enough. Also guys, you also saw in the Euro Cup that we played pretty good. We went on to playing FC Twente in the knockout, or the first knockout round. First, at, at Twente's home field, we drew 0-0. Then when we came to our home field, the Saints home field. And they showed the, the spectators that we are amazing. We won 4-0 against Twente, and that's not a bad team. Then we played the League Cup Final against West Ham, and West Ham is not that great of a team. So we won 2-1. We won 2-1. So we are now won the League Cup. So that's another step towards the top. So that's pretty good so far. But it gets better. Then we played in the knockout, the second knockout stage against Napoli and Napoli is a strong team away on Napoli's home field we lost 2-1 that was hard uh, not losing because I knew we were, we were gonna have it hard on their home field but when we played at the Saints home field what the fuck when we played at the Saints home field we did good we won 1-0 we got an early goal that just sh it, sh it showed all <laughs> it's hard to say Napoli got they got distracted, they got frustrated that we got an early goal. They couldn't retrieve from that, so we won 1-0. That means we went on to the quarterfinal. And who are we going to play? Barcelona! What the fuck? We are playing Barcelona in the quarterfinal. Again, the same pattern as against Napoli. We lost on Camp Nou. But then we went on to the Saints home field. What? We won 1-0 against Barcelona! We won against Barcelona! We were further on because of away goals. What the fuck? You know what? It gets better. In the semi-final, we played against Manchester United. It was, again, we lost on Old Trafford. But then we went on to play on the Saints home field. And what? We won 2-0! We won 2-0 on the same on the Saints home field. It seemed like Napoli, Barcelona and Manchester United did not rate the Euro Cup that high enough to make the best players play because they didn't. Barcelona didn't have Messi on, Napoli didn't have Cavani, N Manchester United didn't have De Gea in the goal. They had a guy named Lewis. What the fuck? Then we went on to the final in the Euro Cup and as you can see we lost. Vier Villar Villarreal, it's hard to say. They were playing amazing. Di Rossi. He, the Italian striker that they have, he is a beast! Like, v Villarreal deserved to win the final. But it could have been nice if we could have won it also, but... Yeah, and no, nothing to say about that. Villarreal, just, they, they, were, they were poning us in the ass. They knew what they did. Now you can take a look at the squad that I did so great with. This was the place. I sold Kevin Morales to Chelsea because he was getting older, his stats was degrading, and he would go down in value if we didn't get if we didn't sell him now. So Chelsea came with an offer of 12 million, and for those 12 million, I went out and bought Carlos Fierro. This guy is a beast. He's only played 24 appearances, and he's already scored 13 goals. Like he was getting up there with with Sunoco as a top scorer, and he had half the amount of game played as Sunoco had. So that was amazing. That's pretty good for him. And did we buy Lucina in the second? I think. Anyway, this guy's also a pretty good player. He came from S Sampdoria in the Serie A, and he did great also. And Lucina is a, he is an Ivory Coast player, and those are known to be great. And then what else? Nothing really else than that, I have to say. Th now we can see how we did in the Premier Division, also known as the Barclays Premier League. We came fourth. We were ahead of Chelsea. By the way, Chelsea and Liverpool did not play that good this season. We won against, I think, 
we went against Chelsea and Liverpool two times or something like that. We were playing better than they would. They they were. So that was good enough. But no one could catch Manchester Manchester United. They were just better than Arsenal, Manchester City and Southampton. But the fourth place that we got means that we're going to play in the Champions League next season. And that means that we have a chance against all the great teams on the biggest stage of them all. But that also means that we're probably going to get less results. But who cares? And Bolton, Ipswich and Blackpool relegated. That's not a big surprise. So that's good enough. Let's take a look at the stats. Player stats. Oh, Jordan Abu was the best or the average rating. He was probably caught. Uh, he was probably getting the award of the Player of the Year, something like that. I think he did. He had an average rating of 7.76, and that's good enough. And he was also the top goal scorer. Goal scorer. So that's also a good, good thing for Jordan Abu. And in assist, we have Danny Fox. Probably all his assist comes from corner kicks. We have scored a lot of corner kicks this season. And that's actually, we didn't do that good this season in the stats wise. So that's kind of annoying. But when I look at the team now, there's only two spots that I want to do better in. It's the left back and right back. Every place else we have covered in my opinion. Oh maybe, maybe the attacking midfielder. But, but else we are doing great at the moment. I cannot wait to do another season with this team. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys later.